Well, the Carillion in the background and the foreground, the beautiful Basin Reserve, which is uh, the venue for the first day of the first test between New Zealand and India. Up and over, and a positive start this. Would you expect anything else from Shaw? Saudi gets his length wrong on this occasion. Prithvi Shaw, top of the bounce, gets up and over in front of point. Luck. They have a fairly healthy slip cordon, but they haven't got them everywhere. And on that occasion, Bolt finds the right line, but no luck. Just moved away a touch, but look at that foot. Look how late the footwork is. It's a great example of on the move, throwing the hands at it, searching for the ball. analysis going on about the way he handled this one pretty sure the length all about the length Tim Saudi gets it nice and full half volley cuts across it beautiful yeah full straight and bring the stumps and LBW into play it is exactly what Tim Saudi's done he'd been operating back of a length so far in this test match this one he gets bang on he's gone for 16 New Zealand strike and near 16 for one Down the ground, missed there, the last ball of the over, Tim Southey, that'll disappoint him. Pajara's patience is rewarded. 26 for one. Sweating on a bad delivery, got a full toss, put it away down the ground for four. Disappointing into the over. Beauty, what a beauty that is. What a lovely way to take your first test wicket. Cole Jamison, congratulations. It's a wonderful length. Pajara hasn't done a lot wrong. Looks like he's looked to defend straight. And has just straightened up off the surface. Through to Jamison. He looks defended it straight. Hasn't done a huge amount wrong. Those sort of dismissals can happen in the first hour or two in a test match. But Cole Jamison, that is right on the money. Congratulations. goes bang bang huge inroads for New Zealand against India early and it's that fuller length slightly wider this matchup against Coley is brilliant Taylor does the rest he grabs onto it in his hundred New Zealand are on top brilliant from Jameson brilliant from New Zealand and Virat Coley has got to go for just a two India 40 for three Shot. Shot and control. Very nicely played. Timed and placed beautifully. Edged and through the gap. Three and one for New Zealand, but... Uh, Managed to find the gap, Mayank Agarwal. It's gone down through. Round about the fourth slip for a boundary four. Well controlled. Jinky Rahani, it's gone straight down to the ground. Yep. <laughs> it's one of those ones where maybe the horse and the cart have gone. I'll look to bring one in now. That's the area. It is such a ground where gully and it's the cross seamer. It's sliding across. The catching options are in that gap. Bring them finer. Short one to finish from Trent Bolt and uh, a good session from a New Zealand point of view. Picked up three wickets early on, but then a fighting partnership between Ajinkya Rahane and Mayank Agarwal and 
to produce 39 runs so far and 61 deliveries. So India under pressure early and fought back in the last 45 minutes. Asked to bat first, India by Kane Williamson when uh, New Zealand won the toss. Prithvi Shaw, quick fire, 16 from 18 deliveries. Pujara, 11. Skipper Kohli with just the two to his name. And Agawal and Rahane go off to lunch unbeaten at the moment. Tim Southey, eight tidy overs, one for 19. Trent Bolt has bowled eight overs and then six apiece for Colin de Grandon. Very very economical and Kyle Jamieson with the two wickets for 20 runs. Yeah, and then what did that come off? Was it off bat? Yes, it was. Oh. Terrific delivery and uh, that is a maiden. Oh. oh, was it one that carries? He's been so good at those Trent Bowl over the years. I think for that reaction, it might have been a possibility. Did it carry? Yeah, it sure did. He got end fingers of the left hand onto it. Didn't stick. Either goes in or it doesn't. Top edge, Jamison, Jamison, Jamison! Yes, indeed. And New Zealand have that one they wanted. Quickly after lunch, Bolt has created two chances and three deliveries. Second time round, it sticks. It's a bit of a nothing delivery right on the hip. Just looking for the swivel pull from Agarwal, top edge. Jameson, massive hand, safe under that. He's gone for 34, India now 88 for four. And that wicket brings to the crease Hanuma Vahari, who's a fine player as well, but uh, relatively new. Pushing at that. The outside edge. Oh, that's good idea. That had a little bit of life about it. Been able to hit the seam. The presentation's been good. This one more came back. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Again, there it is. This one, he was slightly further to the offside. Yeah, spot on, Mark. Very similar length, I think, those two deliveries, but just went a little bit wider. And it moved a touch. Oh, 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 oh! Oof. Now, that definitely come off some bat, I believe. A little bit of glove, yeah. Boundary four. Just climbed and did it get the glove, did it get the arm guard, but it just went over BJ Watling. He was a little bit wrong footed, so he couldn't get a leap away. Oh, yeah. oh, no, definitely glove. Here's Jameson. Oh, yes, what a start! What a start after drinks. He's got another one. A dreamer, fairy tale, you sort it out. Unbelievable. He's been on that length all day and it has paid dividends. BJ Watland does the rest. Good catch tumbling away to his right. The debutant, Kyle Jamison, he is on fire. He's turning into a really, really special day for him. A little bit of both, yes, maybe. Is there? Is there? Is it worth asking again? Henry Nichols doesn't seem all that confident about things. Last delivery. Off that. Get a little shave along the face of the bat or just onto the hip. Ooh. Nice straight punch down the ground. Superb timing. Heavy bales have come out to the Basin Reserve. Not a good day for hats, is it? Two wickets for not many in the session. 43, 43, 43 runs. yep. New Zealand session, still in my book. Yeah, good session. 43 for two, was slow going. 
New Zealand bowlers did a very good job. And Ajinkya Rahani and uh, Rishabh Punt have uh, fought back nicely. They've been going for 55 minutes. 21 runs this partnership. And they will come back after the tea adjournment. 122 for five. Very unpleasant out there in the middle. Hope they're getting good money, these fellas, because they're certainly earning it. Gale force winds and driving rain at the moment across the Basin Reserve. Yep. And the umpires have walked out. The covers are on, and it looks like they are. There we go. There's the sign. It's all over for the first day. We have to get confirmation. Yep, we have to get confirmation of that. They will speak to the captains first, but normally when you see that signal, it means pretty much that the day's play is going to be finished.